Hi everyone, Eileen Hull here. Uh, this is my latest collection. It's called Picket Fence and it's all about gardening. The scoreboard window box is a lot of fun because there are a couple different options, different ways you can use it. Uh, here it's kind of a little centerpiece or favor box. Uh, it would be cool to put someone's name on the front and use it as a place setting. Um, as you can see, I've embossed it with uh, textured impression folders from another collection. Um, also, I have taken the uh, window section and put them together and made a little album out of it where I have all my garden photos inside. The bloom that you see is from one of the Biggs dies that also goes with this collection. This is a big scoreboard. Uh, it's called the basket and inside it I have put, uh, I use the uh, leaves bouquet die which is another big die and also Trinity's flower that's my granddaughter and um, here I've embossed it with one of the label uh, textured impression folders. The canning jars uh, is one of my favorite dies. It's an XL. Uh, there are two sizes that are, they look like the uh, quart and the pint canning jars that you buy uh, and they come with two lids on each size also. Um, there's also a textured impression folder set that goes along with it. Uh, one is an overall pattern which uh, you can see here on the jam jar, the background, uh, kind of the quilted look and there are also a set of labels that goes with it that's part of the set. No garden is complete without a birdhouse, so here we have one, and I have embossed the roof with the um, quilted jelly jar uh, textured impression folder, and I've also used Trin Trinity's flower and leaves bouquet with this, and also plant markers. This is the Biggs die uh, called Clay Pot 3D and inside I've used the Bloom and Plant Markers Biggs die, Leaves Bouquet die, and Trinity's Flower to embellish it. This is Trinity's Flower again. I think you've seen it throughout the uh, collection samples here. Um, I've used several different materials. This is packing paper. Uh, I've used regular paper, also crinoline. Uh, you can use tissue paper, fabric. Uh, it's a very versatile dye and lots of fun. This is another XL dye. This is called the Garden Gate and you can use either paper or mat board. It does have the score lines in it but it makes a great card as well. This one I did out of mat board and I used a transparency uh, page behind it. Uh, also, it's decorated with Trinity's flower, uh, the ivy vine, decorative strip, and here's a butterfly from the last collection, uh, Sweet Treats. I embossed a soda can and inked it with alcohol inks. This is the XL 3D watering can, and um, this I kind of played around with a little bit as far as textures and um, stamping that's the beauty of mat board it just takes any kind of um, treatment really well and it's it holds up because it's extra thick uh, here I used a little silver ink of gold on this to make it look kind of metallic this is a sizzlet set and it's called garden tools uh, these are great to use to embellish the other larger pieces this is the Biggs Large Seed Packet die, and I also used a folder from Rosebuds and Seed Packet Set and Trinity's Flower, and also Leaves Bouquet. Thanks so much for watching this, and uh, please let me know if you have any questions. I'd be happy to answer them, and uh, I guess I'll see you at CHA. Thank you so much. Bye.